Hey everyone, how's everybody doing uh, for this uh, very fine hot Saturday? Um, well, I know it's hot over here in South Jersey. Um, I don't know how hot it is where you guys are at, but um, I think it's supposed to push out at close to 90 today over here. And the humidity is supposed to be way up as well. Don't ask me every time I start this, um, I turn this iPad on, I start out with the weather. <laughs> it seems like that's just my thing I do. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. Um, anyway, I hope everybody is doing well. I really, really do. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys today a couple of case knives. And they happen to be the, uh canoe pattern um now the canoe pattern is right up at the very top of like one of my favorite patterns to collect in the traditional game um no i don't have very many of them um due to the fact that it is so difficult when you get into this hobby um you start chase you start chasing it here there, here, you don't stay on track is what I'm trying to say. It's very difficult to stay on track. And I told myself at the beginning of this year that that was the one thing I was going to do. I was going to try and stay on track and get my collection where it needed to be. Like, if I, if I was going to do my case knives and my canoe knives, I was going to stick with that until I thought... That my collection was complete. But it's so hard guys. Because you turn on the computer. And there's like a different great knife. That you look at on the computer. Every day. There's a newer. Uh, better. Um, better looking. just, And you're like oh well I guess I could. Uh, put that aside for a minute. That, that case knife and go to that one there. And it, it's. It's just a. It's hard, guys. I tried really explaining that. Like, I have a difficult time. I have a very difficult time in this hobby, especially when it comes to purchasing knives. You know, once you get up into the... To, to, to the let, I'm just get, putting a number out there. Let's say you get up into the $200 mark. I'm just putting that number out there. It gets extremely difficult. For me, anyway, I'm, uh, uh, you know, to do a purchase. Because I could show you guys right now a thousand knives that are $200 that I would die to have. It's it's just, you know, I, I don't want to say you just wing it. I mean, you just hope it's going to be good. You hope you're going to love it. Um, I You know, it's it's... I can't explain it, guys. Anybody that's in this knife game knows how it is. And anybody that is not in the knife hobby completely does not get it at all. At all. They just look at you crazy. It's so funny. They think of you like, what's this guy talking about? He collects knives. He 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 loves knives. He um uh he just spent uh, two hundred dollars for a pocket knife. Like, is this guy is this guy okay in the head? Seriously, they don't get it. They just, my wife. She uh, after, I've been with my wife for fifteen years. No, I haven't. Eighteen. Um. To today, she still doesn't understand it. She still does not get why. I spend so much money in this hobby when we can be doing other things with our money. We can be doing much other things with her with our money. Now, I don't skimp out on her. I don't leave her, you know, like high and dry. I'm not saying that, but I do spend a lot of money on my knives. And saying that, that is the only thing that I really do buy for myself. I don't buy clothes. 
I, I haven't bought clothes or went out and bought clothes in years. In years. I think just last month I was in Walmart and I picked up a pair of sneakers for 20 bucks. I needed sneakers so bad. Um, I put I put I put a pair of twenty dollar uh, kicks in the cart, man. But I don't buy anything for myself. I don't have any children, no kids at all. I got my dogs. You guys know that. Um, but I, but we really do not have anything. Yes, we have a big overhead here as far as our home goes. Uh, we have a very big home. Yes, we do. Um, but other than that, I mean, we really don't. Uh, you know, but anyway, that was, uh, that was a rant. I'm trying to talk to you guys about my case knives and my canoe knives. Now that I'm seven minutes in, I love this pattern, guys. I've always been attracted to, um, ever since I've got involved in traditional knives, I've, I've, I've gravita gravitated towards these nice knives these case canoes and um they are just now i only got two of them here they are i forgot to mention that to you i got this uh cabra nay it's called a cabernet uh jig bone and this one is called an embellished uh an embellished bone here they are that one and that one I've only got two case knives. The rest of them, this one here is a roughy. This one is a roughy. That is a roughy. That is a buck knife, which, guys, run out to Walmart right now and buy this knife. $20. This knife is just a great, um... It's just a great knife to pick up for twenty dollars at your local Walmart. If you if if you want a little, um, nice little traditional to throw in your pocket for a quick fix, there you go. That's buck. Um, they sell these all day long in Walmart. And that's where I got that. There's another buck right behind it, which is this one. Hold on. I got this in a gift set in um. Uh, where did I get this? Uh, tractor Supply. This came with a toothpick. It came with the ki the canoe. And you got a medium sized toothpick. 20 bucks. It, it was one of their um, holiday uh, gift um, packs. Now how can you beat that for 20 bucks guys? And uh, up top here. I have. Um, which I am highly in love with. They are my little, these are all Rough Riders. One, two, three, and four. They're my mini Rough Riders. And if you guys get a chance, I highly, here we go again, I highly recommend picking up a couple of mini canoes in your next purchase for Smoky Mountain Knife Works. That's the way I do it. If I'm getting a knife from Smoky, I'll like turn around and throw one of them little guys in there because they're like three bucks, four bucks. How, how can you beat it? So I figured you guys might want to take a peek at this, um, my canoe, uh, collection. And, um, what do you guys think about these, uh, these canoes? I keep wanting to say case canoes. Um, the, uh, canoe pattern, traditionals. I love them. I just love them. It's a two-blade knife. Um, and that's that's just about all I got to say. I mean, if you go online, you can find these, these uh, case knives in every configuration that you want. Every color, every bone color. They normally come in about like $65. This one was $70. This embellished bone. And this Cabernet one here was 65 Now, I guess you could get them cheaper. It, I mean, it depends on what, you're, what you want, you know. But I do think that you could get them cheaper. So, um, 
That's about it, guys. I'm patiently waiting till Wednesday. I'm chomping at the bit. It's going to be a long wait until Wednesday I go to this doctor. So, I'm just trying to keep my, uh, keep my mind going and keep my mind off of things. And so, um, that's it. And, and I also, I also appreciate all of the kind, kind, kind comments. I'll tell you, you just brought tears to my eyes. The kind comments you guys left me. Like, I really felt like you weren't just shooting out a, a, a comment. You really, like, I really felt that you were really, really, really sincere. And that meant a lot to me, man. That meant, I don't have really, I just have my wife. I don't have a family. Um, you know, my dad passed on. My mom passed on. They passed on in young age. My sister, she's, that could take three hours to talk about her. She's a, she, I don't see her. And that's all I have. I, I don't have, you know, it's just me. My it was my me, my sister, and my mom and dad. That was all I had. So, but yeah, the comments really, you know, they're 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 uplifting. They they really help you out. They really do. And I thank you guys for that. And I am eleven minutes in, and I guess that's my time limit. Let me know what you guys think about these. Uh, canoe pattern uh knives uh traditional knives let me know if he's like them let me know if he's don't like them well just let me know what you think about them i don't know all right guys yo to the next one um i am pete and uh i'm here guys i'm here i'm here and i'll talk to you guys real soon thanks guys bye bye